I very badly want to eat the Cheesecake Factory kids menu, but I can't because it says on the menu that you have to be 10 and younger. So I can't eat inside the glorious Cheesecake Factory, I have to get it to go. It's my brother's little birthday. That's why I'm getting the kids menu. <sighs> Does this look like a good spot? Yeah. The Cheesecake Man has arrived. You can probably tell this is a lot of plastic. I would like to save the environment, but the kids' menu is only for ton and younger, so I had to get takeout and waste plastic. It's Cheesecake Factory's fault. Not mine, or Lucas's. Cheesecake Factory Diet Coke. It's on another level. Even getting it takeout is satanic in the weirdest way. They even gave us bread. A whole loaf. Usually they would just give one slice for one kid's meal. But since like we ordered 10, they're like, this is for either, I don't know, like the Duggars. They 100% thought this was for the Duggars. Mm. I don't want any bread. Save it for later. I know you were talking bad about them, but something about the plastic takeaway boxes from Cheesecake, maybe it's just from the past memories I have. It, they're really positive to me, even though I know they're inherently bad. So the fries come in, the, come in a little, like, kid's meal container. <laughs> Very little amount of fries. Yeah, that, that seems like a kid amount of fries. I'm pretty sure these fries suck, but... They don't taste that good at the restaurant even, but to go, the fries are not it. Tastes like they've been sitting for like a day. It's only been 10 minutes. I used to always get sliders at Applebee's, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be living a fantasy right, right now. There's no ketchup? No. No. Smush. La 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 la. The first taste I got was McDonald's. When you eat a pickle, is that, does that bring you to McDonald's too? I almost threw up, but yeah. Since it's Cheesecake Factory, I expected something better, but it just tastes like a burger that's smaller than a regular burger. It is very good though. Like, I am happy. I didn't say I wasn't happy. Are you gonna have any sort of ranking system? Will you bring to a kid's birthday party? I was thinking no. Yeah, I don't know if I would bring this one to a kid's birthday party. I really don't think I would. It's not special enough. Yeah! And it's like $10 for two sliders, so... That's too expensive for a party. Did you hear that and see that? Kids mac and cheese. I've had the mac and cheese balls. So is this just the mac and cheese they put inside of the balls? Mm. Wait, I've never just had plain mac and cheese from Cheesecake. I don't want to judge a book by its cover, but appearance is everything. And it doesn't look very cheesy. It looks very boring. But I do have to applaud Cheesecake Factory because a lot of chains like Applebee's and Chili's, they just do craft mac and cheese, whereas Cheesecake actually does their own thing. Mm. It's not craft, which is cool. Ooh, random piece of penne with the elbows. There was a random piece of spaghetti in mine. La 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 la. Wait, that's good. Looks can be deceiving. Literally, don't judge a book by its dang cover. This would be my dream as a kid. Every night for dinner, give me this in second grade. This is... Part of me thinks that's the heavens talking to us. Jesus wants a bite. But this honestly... <laughs> honestly, it's so good. I just got a whiff of shit, but we are in a public park, so... <laughs> I don't know what they did, or how they did it, but they did it. Mrs. Cheesecake, can you pay a visit to my house sometime? There's a random P. I love that because they're trying to make kids healthy. Duff would bring that to a kid's birthday party. I don't care if it costs $500. Yeah, you need to cater the next children's birthday party you go to with this. <laughs> Mr. Spaghetti, how do you get so beautiful? <laughs> I can't speak spaghetti. It's not only windy today, it's cloudy with a chance of meatballs. <laughs> Do you like when it's just one meatball? Or would you rather it be spread into a meat sauce? I'd rather be spread into a meat sauce. And when you ask that qu question, I realize that I have so much hatred for meatballs. Like, I like the look of it. That's the thing. So I almost think it is worth it to me. Like, you know, cutting it up. I'm gonna get out my little plastic fork. La 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 la. Mm, that side of the bowl can be mine since I like just left my remnants there. This is like a basic spaghetti, but sometimes that's what you need. La 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 la. If I was a thousand miles from home, this would solve homesickness. It tastes like mama's scuddy she cooked for us every Wednesday night. 
I kind of made up that story, but it actually does taste like homemade spaghetti though. Is it because like there's not that much sauce? Like what is giving it the homemade vibe? I think it's how it's plain, but there is one flavor in here that is unique to it. So you have to give them that. It's really light on the sauce, maybe to keep the kids from getting like unhealthy. And kids are picky. Do you realize over time, kids are too picky. Yeah, they get mad if like the color is wrong. Eat what's in front of you and like it. I'm just kidding. It's okay if you have preferences. <laughs> Maybe we should try just the meatball now. Cheers. Uh, what? So moist and breakable. How does every Italian place get the meatball to taste like that? There's like a sweet taste. Bowls full of meat mm. at cheesecake is where it's at. One of my favorite foods is pasta. So I might be biased. Cheers. <gasps> we almost kissed on the lips because that one noodle. <laughs> I, know. I was so scared when I saw the lady in the tramp thing happen. I know. And this, yeah, could have ended up bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird because like... <laughs> it's like, wouldn't you just bit it off? <laughs> I'm not bringing this to a birthday party because I could easily make this for under $20 for like 500 people. I feel like this is reserved more for rich families, you know? Like, um, if like Jaden Smith has a kid, you know? <laughs> this is what the classic little kid would do. Eat the meatball and throw the rest away, so that's what we're gonna do. <gasps> Grilled cheese. We don't have any ketchup or tomato soup, but I'm still very excited. Just a little fun fact, when I was a kid, this was my go-to on the kids' menu, grilled cheese. I do like how they cut it, you know? Like at first I thought it was French toast sticks. It, the way it's cut very much gives kid energy. Is it gonna be really cheesy is the big oh. question. La 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 la. Mm, it's boring and dry, but it is good. I love grilled cheese from restaurants though because they're thicker bread, but it needs ketchup. But I feel like I would think that about any grilled cheese. This has more than one slice of cheese it looks like. The cheese slab is thick. My hands are greasy, so usually that's a good sign. I don't think I Bring this to a birthday party because grilled cheese could throw that together in five seconds for like four dollars yeah um i'm not bringing it to the to the shindig this weekend either yeah! i already finished my effing kids drink but if i was a kid and had a kid's stomach would i actually not have finished all this but since i have a man stomach it just got slurped so fast i think that's why Why did they waste this much room, first of all? Is this the same price as the spaghetti? I think around the same price. Because this is drastically different. For each meal, there was an option between french fries and a fruit cup, and I got, I mixed. This one has a fruit cup because... Fiber? La 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 la. Do the vibe, though. You can have it. Okay. These are just so cute. Adorable. <laughs> <laughs> la 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 la. It's not crunchy, but do you think they do that on purpose? So kids don't break their teeth? I think it's just soggy. Why is this hot dog hitting me so hot in the stomach? I know, it's so flavorful. Cheesecake isn't using Asco Mayo. They're using some like deli contessin sausage. Corn dogs are sort of a trigger for me because one of our dogs growing up choked on one. Someone dropped their mini corn dogs. The dog ate all of them. And then as it was choking, it went under a bed so we couldn't reach it under a king size bed. So that was very scary, but it survived. I'm sorry for causing that trauma to reveal itself, but- There's a spider on you, actually. Huh? Yeah, there's actually a spider on you. Can you call Jesus? No, it's like a white one, like a creepy white spider. Please oh, get my, it out. I flicked it off. Yeah, I actually was thinking I'm not even gonna touch it, but I had to step in. Honestly, I would say these are above the frozen hot dogs you get at Walmart, but um, I'm not gonna bring it to the kids' party, and I'm not gonna say why, because you guys don't deserve to know that information. I have my own personal life that you guys don't need to know about. That has to do with mini corn dogs. I'm not even gonna say what my decision would be. All I'm gonna say is there's no ketchup. Why would you have a corn dog without ketchup? Fill in the blanks. <laughs> Ooh, this is for the healthy kids. Like, this is from a rich family, you could tell. Like, the parents are scientists. They know the exact diet the kids should eat. Salmon, broccoli, and a little bit of potato. They had grilled salmon and grilled chicken, and I decided to get grilled salmon. These mashed potatoes are not mashed enough. <laughs> no, it's like an actual potato. Like, what? <laughs> Cheers. La, 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 la. The salmon's actually really good. Mm. 
I do love how that's actually a potato, you know? Not some instant potato mix. I just can't picture a kid ordering grilled salmon. The only way this would happen is if the parents forced them, right? Yeah, it would have to be like a really strict science family. Something about the salmon is a little bit gross. It reminds me of like it's been frozen for nine years. There's something about this meal that I actually like, I want this to be my new dinner. <laughs> I would definitely bring this to a birthday party because I am really passionate about teaching the future leaders of America about nutrition. How could I disagree with that? <laughs> <laughs> I used to get the chicken quesadilla when I was around like 12 and stuff. Wait, when you get it at the restaurant, they give you a side of sour cream and guac. And there's none. Are you effing kidding me? What? La 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 la. I'm just gonna hope this is one big cover up or something because usually it didn't taste like this. This is so dry. Like, they need to add like a spicy ranch to it or something. Maybe not spicy ranch because don't kids not like spice, but like, I wouldn't even let this go anywhere near me again. So obviously I'm not gonna bring it to any parties. I'd bring the Taco Bell chicken, chicken quesadilla, not this one. <laughs> Like we said, kids would probably F with this because it's so plain mm. and Jane. But if, if your name is Jane, I'm not hating. <laughs> they gave a side of ranch. I don't know why the other ones they didn't, but... I was about to say, why is the male so small? But it's like, oh, because it's literally for a six-year-old. It's for small humans. I mean, from presentation, they look very good. Thick ranch. La, 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 la. It is, like, very good, I do have to say. This kind of goes back to the macaroni thing. If you're bringing your kids to Cheesecake Factory, they are going to get an experience. Why not every other restaurant just give actual frozen circle nuggets? These are actually, like, tenders. They're breaded. They look real. You know? Yeah. Which I wonder if that would make kids mad. They'd be like, why doesn't this look like a McNugget? Wait, I could see so many little kids actually not eating it and eating chicken, frozen chicken nuggets when they get home. I didn't even think about that. Honestly, I would bring this to a kid's birthday party because something about it is like grinding on me so hard. I think it needs barbecue though. <laughs> this looks very basic. <laughs> This is literally just butter noodles? Is that what it is? They had mayo and nela, oh, what do you call that red sauce? Like, what's like the techno to technical term? Isn't it marinara? Oh yeah, mayo and nela noodles, alfredo noodles. Those felt so boring, so I had to pick one of the three, so I picked butter and parmesan. I never have been a person to eat butter noodles, but it's a common thing, right? People up with this all their lives, but I literally didn't know about it until, I'm not even joking, I was like a sophomore in high school. I was at Noodles and Company, and I was like, wait, you just ordered butter noodles to one of my friends, and I didn't know about it. When did you learn about this? Mine was literally post high school. It was one of my LA friends. He was making dinner for himself, which was noodles with butter. And I was like, huh? He was like, oh, I actually like it. And I was like, huh? And then I just didn't ask anything else, and I never talked to him again. La, 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 <laughs> la. I do have to say, I wish every time I got pasta, it was bow tie. But did you know that bow tie noodles is the uneducated way to say it? There's actually a more educated way to call these noodles. What is it? Like full lean or something. La, 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 la. Just so boring, but I know all the butter noodle fans out there are loving it. You gotta have something messed up with you, you know? If your kid orders this, actually send them to therapy and actually take them out of the school they're going to and send them to like one of those schools where like they like train them to like not be depressed mm -hmm. <laughs> the thing is is it's good but it's just like why am i eating this like it's like eating bread it's like oh it's good but like make me a goddamn sandwich immediately or i'll hit i'm not even gonna like, touch any folder because i don't want these plain jane people watching this video to hate on me so hard but i'm not gonna bring it to the body same <laughs> It looks like an upscale box. I feel very silly right now. <laughs> Shut the front door. Okay, I take back everything I said about hating on Cheesecake Factory. They actually knew. They knew that they needed ketchup. They had a pepperoni and a cheese, but I wanted to be adventurous, so I got pepperoni. Honestly, it looks good. And it's only a little bit smaller than like an adult flatbread you'd order, right? Yeah. It's very cold. I mean, because it's been sitting out for 50 minutes. Cheers. La, 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 la. Why is this sauce sweet? It reminds me of water park pizza. And this is a specific sauce they only use on, like, Six Flags pizza, water park pizza, like places where kids frequent. Tastes like Chuck E. Cheese pizza, you know? There has to be a specific brand of sauce that comes out of a can that they're using because it reminds me of an amusement park pizza. Mm -hmm. 
but it is good. Like sometimes you want a water park pizza. I feel like maybe I would bring it to a party to show off. They'd say, oh, I thought you'd bring Pizza Hut or Papa John's. You bring Cheesecake Factory. Respect for life. I didn't think about that. Um, My immediate answer was no, it's so basic. But it would be a fun moment to show everyone. I'm willing to spend the money and you guys may dream of this world that I live in where I buy cheesecake pizza pizza for a kid's party and one day I hope you do get to the success I'm at. But it might not happen because a lot of people aren't willing to work as hard as I do. <laughs> Let's start a petition to take that text off the kid's menu, Tun and Yungle. I want to be able to go to Cheesecake Factory next time and order off the kid's menu. No joke. They're never going to do it. Now you know the secret loophole of how to eat off the kid's menu, even though they try to stop you. Bye. See ya.